everyone. Welcome for, uh, thank you for joining us today. Unfortunately, Claudia, who's usually our DLIS discussions host, is not available today. Um, so I'll be here. I'm the Continuing Education Coordinator for the Bureau of Library Development. And today we have um, two great people who are going to be talking about uh, Florida Prepaid and ABLE United. With us, we have Steph Conti, who's the Associate Director with the Moore Agency. And then we have Jennifer Salas, who is the Director of the Martin County Library System. And she'll be sharing her library's experiences um, with the College Savings Plan services. So um, to take it away, we'll have Steph go first, and she'll be um, sharing some presentations on them. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't unmute myself for a second. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for your time and attention today. My name is Steph Conti, as um, Amy mentioned, I'm with the Moore Agency, and we are the communications partner for Florida Prepaid and for ABLE United. So I have a brief <clears throat> presentation that will go over both programs. And and then at the end of each, here we go. <clears throat> at the end of each of um, these quick PowerPoints, we can definitely um, stop and, and ask any questions um, that you all may have. <clears throat> so again, thank you for your time and attention today. This is, I think, a great opportunity, and we look forward to um, continuing to work with various libraries um, across the state. So I'll start with our program, Able United. So um, for those of you that don't know, ABLE stands for Achieving a Better Life Experience, and it was all made possible thanks to the passage of the ABLE Act. So over a decade ago, a group of parents got together and they were looking for a way to save for their children that had disabilities, just like their children that didn't have any disabilities. So for a long time, people were forced to adopt a spend versus save mentality because those that were on public benefit programs, they were only allowed $2,000 at any time. And that's really not a lot of money when you're trying to you know, establish one's financial independence. So thanks to their advocacy efforts, this legislation passed and it created um, these programs. Each state was able to create their own program. And in Florida, ours is called ABLE United. And it's uh, similar to a 529 college savings plan, a checking or savings account, or a special needs trust. And it kind of has um, similarities to all of these, all rolled into one. And um, the Florida Prepaid College Board actually managed, manages ABLE United. That's where the, the intersection lies. Um, so we get this question a lot about who is eligible. So as I mentioned, this is Florida's program. So you must be a Florida resident at the time of enrollment, but you can, um, you know, once you open an account, it's all managed online. So you can take it with you if you do move out of state. The next two requirements are true for all programs um, across the state. The disability um, had to onset prior to age 26, and it is um, for severe disabilities. So you have to be receiving SSI or SSDI, um, but if you're not receiving those benefits, you can actually self-certify as an option. So um, having a diagnosis of a disability that is marked with severe and functional limitations and is expected to last longer than 12 months. So during the, the enrollment process, you're able to submit a, a physician form or a self-certification form if you think that your um, disability qualifies. And we have a great eligibility wizard on our website. It's a tool that um, you, you know you answer a few questions and it'll help you determine if you think that you or your loved one has a disability that qualifies so when it comes to ownership i think it's important to note that unlike other programs the individual with the disability or the beneficiary is the owner of the able account so again it really helps to lend to their you know financial independence but again a per another person can help in opening or maintaining an account such as a legal guardian, power of attorney, a, a parent, spouse, sibling, grandparent, or a representative payee as designated by the Social Security Administration. Um, and again, the, these accounts were created so that people could save without impacting 
um, eligibility for public benefit programs. So we have a few bullets on here on the specifics for Medicaid and SSI. Um, funds in or withdrawn from the account are disregarded. Um, another, a couple other key points um, in terms of Medicaid, there is no uh, Medicaid recovery clause. So um, in the event of the death of a beneficiary, once all outstanding qualified disability expenses are paid, the remaining uh, funds from the account go to the estate of the benefic beneficiary. Um, and then this next point is true for SSI, that all housing and non-qualified expenses have to be spent in that same month or else they do count as a resource. Um, and we definitely have you know, more information on our website if you have any specific questions in regards to benefit programs. So as I mentioned, opening an account is all done online. Um, you'll need a couple of documents to get started and you can actually make some investment selections. It's meant to be a savings and or investment account. Um, and it, it's really meant to you know, offer a lot of flexibility. So you save what you can, when you can, you know, there's no uh, monthly minimums. Um, there's also no um, enrollment fees or maintenance fees. We try to keep this, you know, the best value for uh, Florida's residents as possible. So now that you have um, all your money saved up and you can actually save $16,000 per calendar year with the help of family and friends. Um, once you have all these, all this money saved up, what can you spend it on? You know, that's always the fun part. Um, so we listed out some qualified disability expenses and these are really meant to be broad. Um, anything that helps maintain the individual's quality of life or independence, that will count. Um, so again, it could be for weekly groceries or for housing um, payments, education, anything of that nature. Um, anything from you know the daily expenses to long-term savings if you want to put a down payment on a house or a car, that will cover it. And finally, of course, how to reach us, the best place to start is at ableunited.com. Uh, we have dedicated resources in Spanish. Um, we started an uh, ABLE office hours. They're able actually to book a 15-minute one-on-one conversation with a representative via um, a virtual you know, meeting um, if you have any specific questions. And then, of course, with our customer service line. Okay. Are there any questions? That I can answer about Able United. No? All right, so then I'll jump into the Florida prepaid one. And I know you're probably more familiar with Florida prepaid college savings plans. Um, and let me get started. Okay, so. Florida prepaid. They we've been around for over 30 years. It's actually the the longest running and most successful prepaid uh, program in the country. Um, it's become a national model. Other states have tried, but have not been as successful as we have. Um, so I think that definitely lends to our credibility um, and our establishment. Um, so, you know, if you think about what you need to save for in terms of saving for college, it's it's more than just tuition. There's always there's always additional fees, room and board, books and supplies, um, and additional equipment. So we're really trying to help set up families for success by offering them an easy way to save for all of these different options. So we offer um, two different plans within Florida prepaid. We have the 529 prepaid plan, which covers tuition and most fees, and there's an, a dormitory option as well. And then the 529 savings plan. So it's really, you know, save as you go, um, you get the tax advantages, and that co actually covers um, education expenses for K through 12, as well as um, for universities and colleges. But, you know, at the end of the day, again, these plans are meant to be flexible. 
you can use them nationwide, even though, you know, it's a Florida program and it was designed for Florida universities. Um, the, the plan will pay the same amount that it would pay for um, a Florida university or college if it, it needs to be used out of state. And it can also be used for trade or vocational or private schools. Again, it will cover that same amount that it would cover um, a Florida State uh, or university or college. Um, so it's not, you know, necessarily the best deal because it was designed for for in state, but you you are able to, you know, save in this manner, no matter where your your child ends up going um, in the future. You actually have 10 years after the, the individual graduates from high school to use your plan and they're transferable. So if that person's not going to any form of, you know, um, university or college after you can transfer to another family member, which I think is really important. Um, you know, again, that flexibility. And these plans are definitely secure. They're guaranteed by the state of Florida. For the prepaid plans, you are limited or you are um, secure with fixed monthly payments. So you never have to worry about if your payments go up in the future. Um, you know, the, the prices now start at $45 a month for a newborn if you want to buy one year at a university. And it'll be $45, you know, for the next 18 years. So you never have to worry about um, prices going up, um, even if tuition goes up in the future, which we all know that it might because everything <laughs> everything goes up. Um, Florida prepaid will cover the cost um, if, if the tuition ends up being more than what we projected. And if it's less than what we projected, then you do get a refund. Um, and it is, the plans are completely refundable as well if, you know, you decide to um, that your child doesn't need this plan or you have no one to transfer to, you can get that money back as well. So again, going back to the flexibility of these plans, they're designed for many um, situations. You, you know, it's always great to start as early as possible, but again, you never know what the future would hold. Uh, luck, hopefully um, you're lucky enough that they, your child applies for scholarships. Uh, your prepaid plans can definitely work um, in, in unison with a scholarship. And as we mentioned, you know, the scholarship could go towards tuition and then you use your plan for, for those other fees or for the dormitory. Um, so again, it's just having, you know, as much saved as possible for any of the, the unexpected expenses that come up. You can also um, receive gift contributions, you know, a great way to, to give a gift rather than giving another toy or another physical present um, for a little one is really to contribute to their, their future success and, and contributing to, to their higher um, education fund. And these plans um, tax, offer tax-free growth. So for our prepaid plans, they do run on an open enrollment period every year. So we are actually in the middle of it from February 1st to April 30th. As I mentioned, plans start as low as $45 a month for a newborn. And we have waived the $50 application fee. And there is a special promotion um, that we're running now. It's the first of its kind. You can get up to $500 in additional savings. For every prepaid plan that you purchase, um, you can get $125 into a 529 savings plan. So it's uh, you know really meant to, to help um, encourage people to, to look at these various savings options and realize that you know a savings and a prepaid plan can work, work really well together. So in order to, to help you get started, we're offering that $500 into a savings plan when you buy a prepaid plan. And of course, we welcome you to, to learn more on our website. And here is the, the phone number as well. Any questions on Florida prepaid? And feel free to turn and off free to turn on your mics or drop it in the chat, depending on which one you prefer. I guess my presentations were that enlightening. Nobody has questions. 
Well, I've got a, I've got a question. Um, so like when you do prepaid plans, it starts at $45. So does it help you calculate it based on how expensive the school is that you're planning on going to like technical versus a university? Yeah. Yeah. So we, what we offer is a pricing calculator on our website. So there's five different plan options. Um, if, if you want to buy for one year at a university or two years at a college, two years at a university, there's lots of different options. So what we have on our website um, is a calculator that you can input the age of your child because it all depends on you know how much time you have to save and the more time the better obviously and which plan um, option would work best for you um, and that'll help determine what your monthly payment would be and again you can kind of work to see what what, what would fit in your budget um, and what your savings goals are and um, one thing that I want to note is that that one year um, university plan that does start at $45 a month, I think it was really created to help um, to help families, you know, be able to, to gather around and, and help support an individual child because what we've seen is a lot of um, like aunts, uncles and grandparents, they will buy, you know, one year at a university and then, you know, another family member will buy one year and you can stack it that way so that at, at the end of the day, the, the child is covered with all four years, um, really with the help of, of the entire family. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. I do see um, a question that I can probably answer from the chat. So I'm Jen Sellis, I'm the director for the Martin County Library System. And um, I would say back in the fall, maybe even in the summer, um, Alyssa from the Moore Agency had reached out to me um, about Florida Prepaid. And she was saying that they were looking to try to get libraries to help advertise it a little bit better. And um, I had just found out for my own daughter um, who has autism about the Able United plan and didn't realize that the two were, you know, represented by the state um, equally. So I was interested personally too to help spread the word about that. So um, last Thursday, we hosted a virtual panel um, on college savings plans. So um, staff was um, our representative for ABLE United and then Shannon had done the presentation you just saw Steph do for the Florida prepaid. And then we did invite um, a local financial advisor from um, Edward Jones that um, he has done other financial workshops for us at the library. So we wanted to get that local, you know, if you didn't want to go through the state version or wanted some, you know, more advice. Um, and then we had our local college, Indian River State College, um, hear about it through our advertisement. And they were like, hey, can we take a couple of minutes to talk to? And since they're the only college that is currently in Martin County, um, we thought it was a, a perfect tie in. Um, so it worked really well. Um, we did have about 40 people registered. Only about four actually showed up live, um, but we were able to record portions of it. Um, our Edward Jones representative um, wasn't allowed by his company to be recorded, so we're going to have to piece it together a little bit. Um, but we'll have that available on our YouTube channel, and we're going to um, send that out to all the registrants. So anyone, you know, I think it's kind of typical for virtual stuff these days where you sign up for it and, you know, hope you can get to the recording later. So it worked really well. We had um, pre-planned questions in case that we didn't get a lot of dialogue um, from the participants because we know some people just like, like to listen in. Um, and it was really nice to just hear across the platforms what the differences were in the plans, um, what each of them were beneficial for. Um, so I thought it worked out really well. Uh, one of the ways I advertised it um, simply because, again, I wanted to get that ABLE United plan out to the parents of kids with disabilities. And so I'm... Um, part of different local Facebook groups that are for, you know, parents of kids with autism or special needs. And so I did advertise it out that way. And I know that we would like to help spread the word a little bit more about Florida prepaid. So I know um, Alyssa had told us that they have brochures that they can send to you. Um, they have social media posts where you can share that out just on, you know, your regular library pages. And um, yeah, it was great. And I, I hope that, um, maybe tying this in with open enrollment for next year. Maybe we can do something in person if, um, you know, that seems to draw a bigger crowd and maybe, you know, live stream it at the same time for the virtual ones. So 
I would highly recommend anyone reaching out to Steph um, because she can connect you to, you know, any of the presenters that they have. And we definitely will do this again. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Yeah, we, we love that opportunity. We loved all the connections that you all have. Um, as I mentioned, I'm with the Moore Agency and we're the communications partners. So part of our role, uh, not only is serving as spokespeople, because um, these are you know state programs, they have limited staff, so we, we step up and, and represent these, these wonderful programs, but it's also finding new partners to help spread the word. This is a very big state. <laughs> so we try to you know spread the word as much as possible. And yeah, you, you know your, your individual friends groups on, on social media, that's all you know great um, resources to share this information and we're happy to, to mail you, um, collateral, flyers, posters, you know, whatever you need to, to help um, educate your, your constituents on these programs. And then we can, of course, set up, you know, personal webinars. Um, and we can even try to find, you know, so it's not just, you know, a talking head um, or a spokesperson. We can try to find that local account holder. I think kind of hearing it firsthand from somebody that's going through, you know, the program helps a lot. So we do have access to, you know, a lot of ambassadors and um, account holders across the state. So we're more than welcome, um, more than happy to invite them to be a part of the conversation as well. I've included my information, sorry, I've included my information in the chat. So please, if, if you're interested, um, and any of the resources or information, uh, reach out to me. And also, um, I had, uh, I guess I told Amy Johnson from the State Library about this before the um, Florida Library Public Library Directors meeting in Tallahassee in December. And uh, so uh, Steph and her crew were able to send out really nice bags and little giveaway type items for all of the library directors. So yeah, they, um, and I, I'll be honest, when Alyssa first reached out to me, I didn't know a whole lot about Florida prepaid. I'm like, is this a for-profit thing? Is this something that public libraries should be sharing out? And so just being educated by them to know that, you know, they're not making money off of this. They're, you know, trying to help the public and their college savings plans. So they're definitely, uh, they're a legit company to work with. Thank you both. I feel like Able United would be a really great thing to share at like sensory story times or financial literacy classes for both, well, both of them really for financial literacy classes. So it was really great to hear about them. Um, Jennifer, do you mind sharing those copy, the copy of the questions with, with us as well, um, yep. Claudia and myself, and then we could always share them out with our post webinar email that we have with the recording and all the other information. Yes, I can certainly do that. Okay. We didn't get to ask all of them simply because of time, but also because um, they did a great job answering a lot of the questions in their presentations. Um, and I did share those out uh, to the virtual presenters, um, to the panel beforehand, so they knew what we were asking. I didn't want to surprise them with anything. Were there questions that people had that weren't on the list, or was it usually like, all covered? No, there was someone who was asking, I don't even understand it all that much, but it went to one of our local uh, representatives um, that was about certain percentages of the financial, I don't even, I, Steph, I don't know if you remember what that was related to, but that was above me. <laughs> but he was able to, our local guy um, was able to answer those. So I think it is nice to kind of connect, you know, and it's hard because there's so many financial advisors out there. Um, you know, we had just already worked with uh, this guy from Edward Jones. So that's why we called upon him. But it could certainly be, you know, a variety of financial advisors in your community. Does anyone else have any questions or any experiences with it or anything you'd like to share in terms of college savings plans or ABLE United? Just from personal experience, because some people may not with ABLE United know what the benefit is. Um, you know, you may assume if your child does not have special needs that they're going to go to college. Um, when you have a child with special needs, 
you don't know what their future is going to bring. They may, they may go to a technical school, um, but there's so many varying levels and it changes as they go through different periods of their life. So for me, um, my daughter who has autism, she is high functioning. So I do think that, you know, she'll end up going to college, but I love to have that flexibility that if she doesn't use it for that, that it can still help her in moving forward with her life goals. So there's a lot of great flexibility to it. That's wonderful. So Jennifer, for, um, for library staff, do you have your reference desk trained to know about these resources and kind of help point them through the website or just to the general resources and handouts available? So we don't yet. That's our next step. We wanted to start off with this virtual panel and um, trying to get some social media posts out there. But yeah, staff training probably is the next thing. Um, something else that we do and we haven't, I don't think, offered this yet to Florida Prepaid, but um, we do what we call lobby networking. And so we invite organizations to come take a, a table in our lobbies. We usually have them do um, a training for our staff while at the branch before the public um, doors are open. And then we have them sit there and um, we try to time it with if they're a children's organization, like a story time is going on. So that age group is coming through. Um, but sometimes it's just that they're, you know, hanging out in the lobby and we've had really great success. So that's one of the other things that I was thinking if um, you guys from the Moore Agency would like to come take a visit. <laughs> Absolutely. Steph, is there anything else you'd like to share on your end? Um. Um, no, just again, thank you all for, for the opportunity. You know, it's important for us to, to try to reach as many people as possible to, to help educate them about these programs. Um, what I shared today was very, you know, high level overview. Um, we can definitely tailor, you know, if you have a specific program in mind, what that PowerPoint needs to look like, who the speakers are. Um, as I mentioned, we can bring uh, local account holders and ambassadors. So, yeah, we really look forward to working with you all and just, you know, try to offer um, flexibility um, and whatever we can do to help spread the word. And we definitely appreciate your help. Well, thank you both for being here. Um, Tina said, I love Florida prepaid, had plans for all three of my sons, now have plans for grandson and granddaughters. So that's really great to hear too from the from the audience. So thank you for being here. Um, we really appreciate you guys feeling questions and sharing your experiences and your knowledge about it. Um, we'll hang, we can hang around for as long as people wanna talk about it or have any more questions. Um, We've got until four o'clock, so if anyone has any other other ideas for how to spread the news or how they would like to see it implemented in their libraries, that'd be great to hear too. Emily said she has a niece who's in college right now in Florida pre-play prepaid. It's a really great program. I have a young son, so it's really a <laughs> interest me. Obviously, we have a, our own savings plan, but this is nice that it's tailored and you can kind of use a calculator and all that for it too. Right, exactly. And and what we say is like you, you set it and forget it, right? Like it, it just becomes part of your monthly bills, and and you don't have to worry when the time comes. Um, and we all know that, you know, time flies and we'll be here sooner than we think. So it's always important to get started. And we love, you know, hearing all these examples of people that are using it. We know people that have it. Um, you'd be surprised as, as many people say, you know, that they have a plan. I think we're only reaching maybe 4% of eligible uh, families in, in the state of Florida to save with Florida prepaid. So we still have, you know, a lot of work to do. So even um, even though it, it's been around for so long and you, you think you know so many people that have it, we still have, you know, a lot of work to do to help reach um, all the families in Florida. Um. 
Uh, libraries are definitely a great way to get the word out. I feel like they, you know, I mean, they're obviously a place of resource, but um, they're also a place that people come to kind of save money and just have that general um, mentality about life. So I feel like it'd be a really great place to learn about it. Yeah. And we're a reliable source of information, so. Yes. Well, if no one has any more questions, I don't want to keep everyone until four. So, <laughs> so thank you again for Steph and Jennifer coming and speaking with us and for everyone who attended and asked questions and got to hear about it too. We really appreciate your time. Thank you all. All right, well, have a great day. Um,